Now let us look at the next problem here and this problem is called as an equilibrium point problem. Again the problem is easy because we are initially discussing all the easy problems uh, so that we can build a simple basics or base to solve the difficult problems. Let us understand the problem first. Given an array A, your task is to tell at which position the equilibrium first occurs in the array and this equilibrium position is in an array is a position such that the sum of the elements below it is equal to the sum of the elements after it. What does it mean? Let us assume that uh, we have an array with the elements, with the following elements. Minus 7, 1, 5, 2, minus 4, 3 and 0. Now when I am saying equilibrium point, equilibrium point means that we should find a point in this array in such a way that sum of the elements to the left of it is equal to the sum of the elements to the right of it. Now for example, let us say that uh, in this array, if I take the position, this particular position where we have number 5, the sum of the left elements here is minus 7 plus 1 which is equal to minus 6. And the sum of the right elements here, it is 2 plus of minus 4 plus 3, which is equal to 1. So left sum is minus 6 and the right sum is 1. So it is not equal. So we need to find a position where the left sum should be equal to the right sum. Now let us say that in this array, in the same array. Okay, so this is numbers are minus 7, 1, 5, 2, minus 4, 3 and 0. Assuming that th if this is the equilibrium point, then the sum of the elements in the left is minus 7 plus 1 plus 5, which is going to be minus 1. And the sum of the elements to the right of it is minus 4 plus 3, which is again going to be minus 1. So this minus 1 and this minus 1, that is sum of the left elements, all the left elements and sum of all the right elements is are equal, that is why this point is called as a equilibrium point equilibrium point okay now it's a fairly easy problem it's very simple now first let us check out how the input is given so input is given like this the first line of the input contains a t denoting the number of test cases for example here it is denoting the number of test cases that is how many test cases we are going to check the first line of each test case contains an integer n denoting the size of the array. For example, here this is denoting the size of the array. Size of array. Now size of the array is only one. That is why it is having only one element. This is only one element. Okay. After the first test case, this is the second test case where this is denoting the size of array. Size of array. And this is denoting the elements. In this array for example here the size of the array is 5 therefore the number of elements are 1 3 5 and double 2 now in this uh, input we have to find what is that particular equilibrium point or where does that equilibrium point exist now in case of output every new line denotes that index location of that equilibrium point if that index location or if that point does not exist Remember, if the point, if there is no point exists in this array which can be called as equilibrium point, then we are going to return minus 1 by saying that we cannot find the equilibrium point, otherwise we can just return the index location of that equilibrium point. For example, here you can check the elements are 1, 3, 5, 2 and 2. Now, if I consider this as equilibrium point, the sum of the left elements is 1 plus 3 is 4. And some of the right elements are 2 plus 2 is 4. The sum of the left elements and some of the right elements both are equal. Hence, this point will be considered as the equilibrium point. Now, remember when we are giving the output in the equilibrium point, we are not giving 0th index location, but rather if this is the equilibrium point, then we will consider it as 1. Okay, for example, here also the size of the array is only 1. So, we have returned the equilibrium point here as 1 that is the only one index location okay so it will be the position 
at which the elements are at the equilibrium point remember it is not about the index locations it is asking the position where the equilibrium point does exist okay so again there are multiple solutions to this problem there's an easy solution which can be naive but the time complexity will be better and there can be difficult solution which or you can say tricky solution but the time complexity which be will be better in that case as compared to the easy solution now if you are watching this video on youtube then you can uh, discuss you can check out courses that we have created which are gate ugc net and placement preparation the new courses that we have created for dssb and kvs pgt tgt teachers as well as uppcl lt grade teacher recruitment so we are covering all the technical examinations that are occurring throughout the year so if you want to take our courses then you can call us on the given contact numbers or you can email us here which is given in this ppt or you can say in this slide now let us look at the easiest solution to this problem the first easy solution here is to use two loops assuming that this is the array so we have minus 7 1 5 2 minus 4 3 and 0 now what we will do is we'll go to an index location assuming this is an index location i we'll take the sum of all the elements to the left of it and we'll take the sum of all the elements to the right of it but then you have to remember that if we have an array like this then there's no elements in the left therefore we have to start the index location i from 1 okay and this sum the time taken to find the sum here so we can use a loop to find the sum of the left element and we can use a loop to find the sum of the right elements so next time we just have to uh, put the index i in the next location so it is minus 7 5 1 5 2 4 3 and 0 if this index location i is here then we have to take a loop to find the sum of the all the elements in the left and write a loop to find the sum of all the elements in the right of this okay now if their sum is equal then we can stop but if their sum is not equal then just increment the value of i and then again find the sum of all the element to the left of it and find the sum of all the element to the right of it and then compare them so this is the first and the easiest solution to this problem now how this problem solution is implemented this is the array as you can see this is the array which is having the values which are minus 7 1 5 2 4 3 3 and 0 so we have taken integer i and integer j and we have taken two uh, and the right sum so assuming that this is denoting the left sum and this is denoting the right sum okay now for this loop this loop will just increment the value of i so it will take i from the first zeroth index location to the last index location okay so it will assume initially that left sum is equal to 0 so initially you are going to assume the left sum is equal to 0 then uh, we are going to add or find out the left sum that is uh, all the elements in the left and then we, we are going to find the right sum that is all the elements in the right so initially we are going to assume right sum is 0 so we are going to find the right sum from this loop so it will just add all the numbers in the right of this so which is 1 plus 5 plus 2 plus minus 4 plus 3 plus 0 which is again going to be 1 plus 5 is 6 6 plus 2 is 8 8 minus 4 is 4 and 4 plus 3 is 7 so right sum is going to be 7 and then here i'm going to compare whether the left sum is equal to right sum or not if these two sums are equal then i'm just going to return this index location i but if these two sums are not equal then again i will go here and i will increment the value of i so next time i will be here again the left sum will be initialized with 0 and the right sum will be initialized with 0 and then with this loop we'll find this left sum let me just change the color of the pen so with this loop we'll find the left sum and with this loop we'll find the right sum okay so the left sum is going to be minus 7 here and the right sum here is going to be 5 plus 2 is 7 7 plus 3 is 10 10 minus 4 is 6 so right sum is going to be 6 so minus 7 is not equal to 6 hence this will not be executed so again we are going to increment the value of i and so on so this is how this loop is going to run now 
this outer loop will run n times and the inner loops so in total the inner loops is are going to run total of n square time because of the outer loop so time complexity of this function is order of n square okay that is the average case time complexity now this is fairly easy i know this is easy now stop here pause the video here and try to find a solution which is better than this that means can you find the equilibrium point with a time complexity which is less than order of n square if you can find then comment your solution in the comment section then i'll have a look at your solution and then go to the next video where i'm giving you the solution of this problem for the equilibrium point and thank you so much for watching this video